Our top story tonight, victimized first by fire, now by burglars. The apartments burned in a kitchen fire Friday afternoon. Newport News police now say someone broke down boarded up apartments in this high rise on Waterfront Circle. When residents came back to check that damage today, they found some things were missing. Ten year side Liz Palka spoke to those residents tonight and Liz as if the fire wasn't bad enough. They never expected any of this and residents told me security was supposed to be on the floor all night. It's unclear what type of supervision happened. One thing the victims do know the bad situation now is even worse. My things are gone. Dozens of people who live at the towers were displaced after a fire on Friday. Many units condemned on the ninth floor. Residents had to find somewhere else to go. How unsafe was it if somebody came in and went in everybody's apartment and robbed everybody? Newport News Police tell us at least seven units on the ninth floor had their doors kicked in at some point overnight. They're investigating what, if anything, was taken. I've been up there on the floor. And I went in my apartment to see what else, you know, what they had taken. But I, I had to be escorted by the security. That's when Elizabeth Chambliss found her apartment had been ransacked. They stole all my jewelry. All my jewelry got gone. I had sentimental jewelry from um, my mother's passing, plus my own jewelry. This is thousands of dollars. I have jewelry missing, as well as family heirlooms missing. Um, and my apartment is just tossed. Chambliss and Lisa Griffith are confused and upset, but also frustrated. They say building managers told them there would be security on the floor overnight. They assured us that it was going to be a security guard on the floor. Uh, apparently, it's evident that there was no one there. The towers is guarded and you need to live there in order to get in. When 10 on your side was there Saturday, we were told security officers were on the ninth floor at that moment. That's not making residents feel any better. And I'm worried that the same thing they're going to come back and finish up tonight. An awful situation made even worse. Now all they want, their belongings back and a new home. We're all here having a hard time. Police tell us they are working on contacting residents to find out what was stolen. We spoke to someone who works at the building and we're told police are reviewing the surveillance footage. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.